doing awesome. Summer Geronimo here, guys. Great to see you all. We are gonna be talking business, we're gonna be talking network marketing, and we're gonna be talking about personal development. You know, prospecting is such an essential tool. Why is it essential? Because you can drop down anywhere, anytime, any place, in any city, and start building a team. And when you have that as a skill, when you have that as a tool in your tool belt, you can be lethal. I mean, there's no telling what could happen. It's funny. Now let's talk follow-up. The part that pays. Part two, the part that pays. You will end up with business cards. You will end up with contacts in your phone. You will end up with all these different people that you've talked to. The most important part is the follow-up. It's taking that person from just a phone number, from just a one-time conversation, into somebody that could potentially be a business partner in your team, somebody that could be a new customer for your product or service. It's basically materializing that into something that's gonna help you and your family get paid, okay? So that's, that's where the money's at, right? Um, so let's talk about that. Um, first of all, you know, when you're contacting and when you're doing your follow-up, so what I like to do when I've contacted someone, whatever it is, wherever it is, right after I get their phone number, usually I have them put it in my phone, I will send them a text message. Hey, so great to bump it to you. Hey, so great to meet you. Just something like super short. Hey, this is Summer. We just met at Publix, wherever we're at. So great to meet, meet you, uh, you know, look forward to talking to you soon. And that's it. They have my phone number in their phone. Hopefully they've saved it and locked it in. Then when I call them back later or text them later, you know, they're already having a point of reference. So that's the first thing. Now, one other thing, since we're on the subject of numbers, numbers are really, really critical. They're really important. One of the things that I want you to know is that not everyone's gonna join. Not everyone's gonna meet with you. Not everyone's gonna even go to the next step, okay? Some people do not qualify for what it is that you have. So if you talk to 10 people and you start calling people back or you start texting people back and they act like you uh, have the plague or like you are some you know crazy person calling them, don't worry. It's not you, <laughs> it's them. <laughs> don't worry about it. So you gotta know the numbers are the numbers. Don't expect to meet 10 people out and about and get all 10 to sit down with you because that's just not how life works. So if that's happened to you and it's kind of a learning process that you've gone through and you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Don't worry about it because that's, that's not your problem. It's not of your making. Just know that some don't qualify. They don't get it, right? They've checked out a long time ago. So you're going to start reaching back out to them. You're going to send them your text. Then within 24 hours, you want to be messaging them so that you can get together and sit down. Okay. Now you can call them. I'm a caller. I like to call. Now, if they were texting me a lot and we're talking back and forth on text message, I might do it via text, but I'm going to get back in touch with that person in 24 hours, 48 at the very max. Here's where a lot of people lose it. They're like, oh yeah, I met this person. They were a vendor at such and such. I'm like, great. When did you meet him? Well, like three weeks ago. I'm like, dude, it's toast. You're never going to talk to that person again. If you don't get back with, in touch with them within 24, 48 hours max, they're not going to remember who you are. Like you just had like a 30 second to two minute conversation. It's not like you guys are buddies, right? So just remember, you know, send your follow up text right after you meet them. It doesn't matter where you're at or what time it is because you're both there, right? So it could be 11 o'clock at night. You could say, hey, so great to meet you. That's it, right? Then get in contact with them within 24 hours. Now, what I usually like to do is I push everybody that I meet out and about to a one on one. Now, when you go to do your contact, if you're calling them on the phone, here's how my call usually goes. Typically, up front, when I've contacted them, I kind of throw out there that I have a business, I throw out there that I'm expanding and love to talk with them more about that. So when I'm calling, you know, we're just kind of calling to get together. I'm not calling to re, re pitch them, I'll say, or I'm not calling to like re break it down for them all over again because they already said they were interested, otherwise they wouldn't have given me their phone number, right? So I'll call up, hey, this is Summer, we met yesterday at wherever, we met earlier today at wherever, whatever, wherever we met. Hey, am I calling you at an okay time? Clear the time, really important. Yes, oh, awesome. Hey, listen, I got my calendar here with me. Wanted to reach back out and touch with you. I know, you know, I share with you that we're expanding right now. Love to get together with you for coffee. What's your schedule look like over the next couple of days? And that's it. I'm not gonna try and really like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna move forward and try and redo everything I already did one time. You just kind of throw it out there real simply. Now, 
two things are gonna happen. One, they're either gonna be like, oh yeah, that sounds great. Um, and they'll just go right for booking the appointment, okay? That's, that's like most people. Now, if you have somebody and they start pushing back and they're like, can you tell me more about it or this and that, just give them a short little whatever you know, a short little statement on what it is that you're doing. Hey, you know, have a, have a whatever kind of business. I have a health and nutrition business. I have a skincare business. I have a electricity company, whatever it is you have. I have this business. We're expanding here locally. You seem like a sharp person. Would you like to sit down and talk more about it? And that is it. Now, one of the things that you want to be really careful with is you want to guard your time. And what do I say when I mean guard your time? Okay, there's like a, you know, I don't know how many people there are in the world. There's a lot, right? So you have a lot of options to choose from. If you're talking to someone on the phone and they're like, uh, they're like, they're not real, like you're not feeling warm and fuzzy on the other end, don't continue to push and move forward. Okay, this is something, that's something I did years and years ago when I was like brand new to this. I was like, let me get an appointment, let me get an appointment. And I would just go for it, right? And here's what I found. Number one, you might get no show. Number two, it might be a complete waste of your time. So if you need to stop and pre-qualify that person at greater lengths, then go ahead and do that. Don't move forward out of, out of weakness, right? Don't think like, oh, I'm moving forward because that's what I'm supposed to do. But, but really, there's not something good on the other end. Are you with me? So here's what I mean by that. If that happens when you're on the phone with them, you want to hold, up, hold your horses. Don't push so hard for an appointment that may not be the outcome that you're looking for. Instead say, hey, you know what? Why don't I go ahead and send you some information? Are you can say, hey, are you by a computer right now? Or do you have two minutes so you can watch something on your phone? Send them a video about your company. Every company out there has got some kind of either a sizzle video or a 10 minute, 11 minute, 12 minute video on the overview of everything. Just send that to them. Say, hey, check that out. Do you have 10 minutes right now? Yeah, okay, great. Hey, check that out. And you know, if that looks, sounds like something you have an interest in, then let's talk more. And then you can decide, you gotta use, you know, God gives us all wisdom and discernment, right? And we can pray and ask him for more of it. He says he gives liberally to us, right? So you gotta use your wisdom and discernment. Hey, am I gonna follow up with that person and say, hey, did you watch this video? How did you like it? Great, let's go, let's meet at Panera Bread or let's meet at Starbucks or wherever, right? Or am I gonna like, pull back and say, hey, you get back to me if you like, like what you saw. You have to decide. Remember, posture is 99% of the game, right? If you have strong posture when you're dealing with someone, you're actually gonna attract a lot of people to you. When you're kind of like, you know, groveling, <laughs> it, it's a great repellent, it's like bug spray. So how can you look at this, okay? Do you, I, whether you're single or whether you're married, y'all remember when you were single, right? And here's how that whole thing works. The one you want is like, Ugh. and the one that wants you is like chasing after you and you're like, ah, get away from me, ah, right? So don't be the one that's chasing. Don't like be throwing yourselves at your prospect. Kind of chill, hold your row, right? And, and, and just have a lot of posture. So what does that look like? That basically looks like when you're talking with them on the phone or when you're talking with them via text, not moving forward weekly, not pushing so hard because you have the whole world to choose from. Like you have the entire universe that's out there, right? And you're only looking for the people that are quality people that deserve to be on your team. <laughs> and that's not everybody. Like not everyone's gonna get it. So when you talk to someone and they are like pulling back or they're interested, but you throw yourselves at them, it's not gonna go the way you want. So right. just make sure, be cognizant of what you're saying. You wanna kinda have that kind of you know, swagger when you're talking to someone, and it'll help you attract those prospects to you in, you know, in, a, in a greater capacity. The last thing which we've kinda talked about already, which is assume your appointment. When you get back on the phone, remember, you don't have to requalify that person. You don't have to like represent everything. Just be like, hey, listen, I know we talked about getting together, so I can share more about, you know, what it is that we're doing, what's a good day for you and just kind of move on forward. And if they pause and they say, Hey, you know, can you tell me more about it? You can give a, a you know, one, two, two sentence thing. Hey, we have a company, we're expanding here locally. This is the type of product or service we have. What's your calendar look like, right? If they push back again, you're like, listen, we have a lot of great things going on right now. And we're only looking for the right type of person. Maybe you, maybe not. I don't know. Let me go ahead and send you a video. Check it out. Do you have about 10 minutes right now? Great. Go ahead and watch it. And if it looks like something you have an interest in, perfect. Let's get together. If not, no big deal.
you know? So just remember to have that, that posture. And guys, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to post in there or you can private message me. You know, we talked all about meeting people out and about. Such a fantastic skill. If you have the skill, you can literally drop down in any city in America or in any country and start building a team. You know, this is something that we learned years and years ago and it has served us so good. We've already done that now twice because <laughs> we moved all over the country. So what I'm sharing with you is things that we've done, we've applied, and I know it will work for you too. If you just go work it, you gotta go work it. Now there's a whole other world. And what's this other world? We're talking about going out and contacting. We're talking about prospecting. We're talking about you having some skills to meet new people. Would you like to learn some skills to have it be reversed? where they're actually calling you. They're reaching out to you, they're contacting you, okay? Because what we're talking about is we're talking about learning how to attract people to you using the power of social media. If that's another skill that you wanna have in your toolbox, then I have something that will help you learn that at greater length. If you click on the link, it's, it's a special audio download. You can listen on your phone, you can listen on the go, but it breaks down for you the philosophy of how to attract people to you. It'll add those additional skills to you, and you know what? You never know who you're gonna bring into your business next. So go ahead and get the free download. That's all for today, guys. Take care, be blessed, and I will see you all next time. For more great training and to receive your free MP3 download on how to attract prospects, using social media, the four essential elements to attracting prospects. Visit SummerGeronimo.com.